Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and co-host for Resurrect the Republic, Dirty Uncle Sam Radio. I had just needed to share some thoughts with you tonight. I'm really um, saddened by the lack of information and knowledge and individuals who claim um, that they are pro-constitution and pro the law of the land and then um, are writing articles that actually are false trying to attack Donald Trump. Now, I am not standing up for Donald Trump in this video. I want to make that clear. I want to stand up for the truth. And I am tired, whether it be Republicans, whether it be Democrats, whether it be independents, whether they call themselves libertarians, writing on things that they apparently have no unearthly idea what they're talking about. So the discussion tonight is going to be about Donald Trump, Donald Trump's comment that he was going or we needed to stop all Muslims from coming into this country. We need to put a freeze on that until we can properly vet them. He didn't say permanently stop them. He didn't say never allow them in again. He said put a freeze on it until they can be properly vetted. Now with that being said, I'm going to share with you a libertarian article and then I'm going to show you why they are completely wrong. This libertarian republic is trying to make it Trump. The Constitution isn't always relevant. Presumptive Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump told Leslie Stahl on 60 Minutes that his ban on immigration from countries with high instances of terror is more important than any constitutional issues the policy may raise. Now I'm going to leave a link in this article. So I'm not going to read this entire article. Stahl asked Trump whether his initial proposal to restrict Muslim immigrants ran afoul of the Constitution's First and Fourteenth Amendment. Trump countered that constitutional concerns sh could be allied by banning immigration from specific locales as opposed to pursuing a blanket ban on Muslims. He then explained that the Constitution might take a backseat to his policy priorities. Now this article right here is completely twisted, completely wrong, and complete propaganda and lies. And I'm going to tell you why. Number one, an immigrant does not have constitutional rights. They are not an American citizen covered by the Constitution of the United States of America. They are covered by the laws of the country that they belong to. Okay? So to even pretend like even the beginning of this article is accurate, it's not. Second, when you're talking about from loca locations where Sharia is the law of the land, it is not compatible with the Constitution of the United States of America if you are Muslim from that land and you are in compliance with Sharia. Not all Muslims are believe in Sharia. So I want to make that specific. However, I'm going to go on to a different topic. What Donald Trump said is actually already law and has been in the law in the immigration nationalization of 1952. I get very tired of individuals spreading lies 
you know, if you want to attack Donald Trump on something that he did or, or whatever the case may be, that's fine. Do not attack it pretending like this is attacking our Constitution because it is the government's responsibility to protect American citizens from outsiders who may possibly harm us, period. It is their duty to protect us from invasion. Now, so we're, I'm going to go over to the flat out, this is the Immigration Nationalization Act, 1952. I'm going to put a copy of this in the, the bottom of the description box so that you can get your own copy. You can read it yourself. You will see exactly what I am talking about now. I've highlighted one area and I'm going to let you cover the rest because I'm not going to make a long 30 or 30 minute or hour video. However, this is in section 212. And suspension of entry by the president. Whenever the president finds that the entry of any aliens or any class of aliens into the United States would be detrimental to the interests of the United States, he may, by proclaim, proclamation, and for such period as he shall deem necessary suspend the entry of all aliens or any class of aliens as immigrants or non-immigrants or impose on the entry of aliens any restrictions he may deem appropriate. You need to read this you need to understand that this is to protect the United States of America and the American citizens. You cannot at all try to claim that these immigrants who are, have not become American citizens have a constitutional right under the First Amendment or even under the 14th Amendment because the First Amendment is for citizens of the United States of America. Am I angry? Yes, I'm angry. I'm angry because this propaganda and the lies. I am not angry or, or trying to take up for Mr. Trump at all, but the facts are the facts. And they are trying to manipulate and twist the facts. The fact is the president has had that ability since 1952 that started because of the communism and individuals who are not in uh, the same type of mindset who can't go along with the ideology of the constitution of individualism that is that is uh, anything that is counterproductive the president has the right to do that has since 1952 and everybody who is or at least not everybody but a lot of people on these libertarian sites trying to claim this mess that uh, the Constitution isn't always relevant um, it's not relevant to an immigrant who is not an American citizen that's just like saying, okay, well, the immigrant wants to claim First Amendment status and they're over in Saudi Arabia under Sharia. And yet, oh, well, I'm going to claim that the Constitution of the United States of America, my First Amendment right. Watch how well that works over in Saudi Arabia if one of those individuals claimed that. They would get their head cut off. So to be somewhere else or to fly in or to illegally come in and then claim you have this First Amendment right is nothing but a crock. It has been law since 1952 to protect our people from infiltration and from people being able to infiltrate into our government positions as well. Please read section 212 if you don't read any other section. It goes in detail about it. Thank you. God bless you. Watch your back. Check your facts. And as always, have a great night.